Good morning. Welcome to day three. Merry Vlogmas. So, yep, I'm sporting the Santa hat again because the hair. Mm -mm. And, oh, I am feeling the running around from yesterday in my back and my legs and my arms and my head. <laughs> so, breakfast of champions. Little Advils <laughs> will be accompanying my cereal this morning. Oh, yeah. I've got some hot tea made. I've got a bowl of like Malta meal version of Lucky Charms. I've got a big thing of water. My phone just fell down. And I've got all of my little devices here. I got my iPad, I got my phone, I got my computer, I got my charger, and my earbuds. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to edit <laughs> two videos from yesterday because I was a videoing fiend. Yeah, which is why my, um, Vlogmas went up so very late because it was like, I think I mentioned like 8 o'clock when we came downstairs after putting all of the things away that we gotten and I finished filming and all that and we had our pizza and then I started editing and I fell asleep again. That just seems to be the way I roll. Like 8 o'clock is like pumpkin time, you know, like in Cinderella when the coach turns back into a pumpkin. I can't make it till midnight. 8 o'clock is pumpkin time for me. <laughs> So, sorry about that. It was probably after midnight when that finally uploaded. So, probably you're watching it on Sunday morning instead of Saturday. But, uh, I almost made it on the same day. I was very close. Today's goal, after eating cereal and hoping to get rid of some of these aches and pains that I have, I'm hoping to decorate the tree and the fireplace mantle. And, oh, my phone's trying to fall off again. And... Um, just put up little Christmassy touches, hang the stocking, things like that. I've kind of been tidying up around the family room. It's kind of become, I don't know, there are a few little spots that are actually like dirty, like they need to be dusted and stuff, but mostly it's cluttered because the cats drag stuff out to play with it and they leave it in random places. And then like my daughter will leave something laying around and my husband will leave something laying around. I'll leave something laying around. It just kind of adds up. So we just have like little cluttery messes around. But I want to kind of tidy up, <clears throat> excuse me, behind me, our family room is very big. It's like two giant rooms all in one. So um, we have left a whole pile of like the brown, <clears throat> excuse me, butcher paper out for the cats to play with because they love to jump in it. It's kind of like jumping in leaves for them. It crinkles like that. And so, goodness, morning throat. <clears throat> They like to pounce on it and play in it and hide in it and dive under it and stuff. And so it's been laying there for a while. It came in an Amazon box. So the Amazon boxes and the packing are what the cats love. I love the things inside the boxes and they love the packing materials from the boxes. So it works out great. But um, it's been out for quite a while and it's time to put it away. Put it in the trash or whatever. Recycle it. So just kind of tidy up things and make it look more, you know, festive and homey and clear off the junk that accumulates on the table down here. Just things get laid there because they don't, people don't know what to do with them. So they just lay them on the table. You know how that is. Everyone has a junk collecting spot in their house. Everyone does. Probably a lot of people are better at keeping it under control than some. Upstairs, I'm pretty good about it, except for my husband's little side table by the love seat. He just... He just is, is a piler. He's a big piler. So I just have to go, honey, you need to really go through that stuff and get rid of things that you don't need and put the other things where they need to be. But, you know, you go to work, you come home, you're tired, you eat food, you watch TV, you fall asleep, you go to bed. And then on weekends, you're like, oh, and you try to catch up on all the stuff you didn't get done through the week, like laundry and grocery shopping and tidying up the house and the things of life, adulting. So those little insignificant things tend to just kind of sit there. So anyway, I'm hoping to kind of tidy and straighten and vacuum and dust and get some stuff cleaned up that has been neglected for a little while and then get to decorating with my fam. I think the boyfriend's coming over today. He wasn't able to come yesterday, so hopefully he can come today and I can rope him into helping decorate. Yes, because I would be oh so happy to just hey say, here kids, you do the tree. I'm okay with that. I don't have any hard feelings for not decorating the tree, especially when my back is hurting. So the tree itself is up. I can show you that. See over there? The tree is up in all its glory. 
and it's a pre-lit tree so we don't have to put lights on it but I do probably need to wash the tree skirt because the cats have been wallowing around on it so I'll be de-hairing that later <laughs> and washing it so it's fresh and dragging out the ornaments and things. My hair is just lovely, isn't it? Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> this is me in the morning on a Saturday or Sunday. This is it. Yep, right here. Glasses, funky hair, and my Snoopy onesie PJs. Yes, indeed. These are the best PJs ever. So our Kmarts around the United States have been dropping like flies for the last year or so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they had big blowout clearance sales to try to get rid of their inventory so they didn't have as much stuff to move around. Because what they were doing was they were closing tons and tons of stores, but not all of them. So they would transfer whatever inventory was left to their remaining stores that were open. But they didn't want to have to haul trucks and trucks and trucks and trucks and truckloads of things to other stores. So anyway, they had these giant blowout sales for like the last couple months that they were open. So when we were in Branson, we went shopping at one of them, my husband and I. And I got these pajamas. And I think I got Caitlin some something pajamas there. And just some random stuff. They had like really, really super cheap nail polish, which that's why I have a bajillion bottles of nail polish in my bedroom. Yes, I have a nail polish collection. And we just found random stuff. I mean, they, their gum was even on sale. Their gum. Who puts gum on sale? But when you're clearancing at a store, you put everything on sale. So, yeah, I stockpiled in some gum and some, they had, it was around Easter time. So, I got some Easter things for my classroom and some Easter things for here and just stuff. <clears throat> so, thus the Snoopy PJs, all that long story. Longer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to heat these, oops, cover up the camera. Oh, there I did it again. I'm going to heat my corn bag and my rice bag. So that I can put that on my back and possibly my legs. Take some ibuprofen, eat my cereal, and watch some TV or possibly, probably some more YouTube. I haven't watched all of Tina Beitler's vlog from last week. So she just put it up yesterday. So I want to finish watching that. I just finished watching Michelle Ferre from Pocket Full of Primaries vlog because I woke up this morning and I went, oh, I just can't get up yet. So I just picked the first thing at the top of my notifications list and that was the newest upload so I just clicked on that because I didn't have the energy to scroll through stuff I answered I also replied to some comments on some of my stuff because I like to try to keep up on that if I don't reply to you it's because I didn't see your comment it's not because I'm ignoring you because I love to reply to comments I love to have a, a relationship with you out there I think it's awesome so <clears throat> I apologize if I didn't reply to a comment sometimes they get for whatever weird random reason YouTube will stick it in the spam section and the only way that you'll ever see it if, is if you go through every comment that you have basically or if you go into your it's called analytics for those of you that don't mess with the backstage youtube stuff um you can go into like your creator studio and click on your comments and see if there's anything being held but that you know it takes time it's not something you just can pop onto all the time so anyway again long story longer if I haven't replied to a comment of yours, I am so, so sorry. I never do that intentionally. I love to reply to comments. I love having a back and forth conversation with people. I think it's great. I've met so many awesome, awesome, awesome people out there because of this channel. And I'm so blessed because of it. So thank you. Yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, oh, pocket full of primary. That's what it was. And she was talking about how last week she had like three migraines. And I was like, oh, sister, I totally feel for you. You know how I've been just fighting the migraine battle. And I think mine might be a combo sometimes of a migraine and a sinus headache. And so it's really hard to get rid of the whole thing. Like I'll take, I take Excedrin migraine or just Excedrin extra strength. Because that seems to be the best over-the-counter medicine that, that helps. It doesn't usually get rid of the whole thing, but it makes it to where it's dull where I can tolerate it. Like I can, if I'm in the midst of teaching, I don't think about it and it's not in the front of everything, just clouding everything. Mm. But <clears throat> since I feel like I have combo headaches, it, it, it's really hard to find a medication that will do it all. And I, when I was in college, I went to neurologists and I, they did all kinds of scans on me and they tried different medicines and they gave up on me because it wasn't helping. So... 
yeah, I just haven't really gone back to a doctor for headaches since then because I was kind of discouraged because of that. When a doctor gives up on you and says, sorry, I can't help you. You're like, oh, well, crap. <laughs> I'm just going to be stuck with headaches for the rest of my life. And I know even people that are like being managed for their headaches don't, they still have breakthrough headaches. So it's not like it's a perfect science. So, and it, you know, a lot of it has to do with like women especially tend to get migraines more than men and it's a hormonal thing. And so one positive side about going through menopause would probably be either less migraines or no migraines. So that's something to look forward to in your later years in life. I'm not there yet, but, um, yeah. So I totally feel for Michelle with her migraines and stuff. I know, I know what that's like. I know what that's like at school at home. It's awful enough, but at least you're home and you can just stop whatever you're doing and just say, Oh my gosh, family, I have a horrible, horrible migraine. I need to go lie down. I need quiet. I need you to leave me alone. Goodbye. But at school, mm -mm, there is no pause button at school. And the kids can be very sweet and kind, but you still have to be upright and conscious and have your faculties about you because you're responsible for those children in that classroom. So you can't just be like, I'll be in the corner with my head down. You you can't. You're still you're still there and you're still responsible for whatever's happening. And that's really hard when you are in miserable pain. So I totally, totally, totally felt for her. And I felt so bad for her. And then I there was a nice little comment on my comment. Somebody commented on my comment. There we go. And said that her aunt has terrible, terrible debilitating migraines. And She'll have to just go lay in a cold, not a, I don't think she said cold. Maybe she said a cool, dark place, something like that. A dark place for like three days at a time. And I, oh, I just felt so bad. I, I wish that there were not so many people in this headache club with us. I wish the headache club to go away. We don't need any more members. We need the, the headache club to disband and not be a thing anymore. So yeah, I felt for her too. I sent well wishes to her and then someone else made a really nice comment on my comment as well. So that was really sweet. So there are some really awesome people out there in YouTube land because people are, there are real people out there. Well, we're real people. Oh my goodness. With real cat hair. Oh yeah. So I appreciate you out there. Appreciate you understanding. I think it's time for me to go eat my cereal and take my breakfast medicine <laughs> and heat up my bags of warm and snuggle with my Pikachu kitty right there who's waiting for me to get the blanket on my lap because that's his favorite place to lay. This is my blanket, the snowflake one, year round because I love snow. And it's a very fuzzy soft blanket and he loves it too. So I lay it on my lap and he likes to snuggle in between my legs. I just kind of put my legs out just a little and he likes to go in the little, I call it the hammock. <laughs> he likes to lay in the little hammock section and lay on my foot, my bad foot. And just kind of keep it warm and snuggly. And he just likes to sleep there whenever I'm sitting on the couch. So he's patiently waiting for me. I'll hunker down, unhappy. <laughs> he will actually walk over to me and look at me if I don't have the blanket on my lap. And wait for me to put the blanket down and get it situated. And then he'll do his little circles and then plop. <laughs> it's very cute. So I'm going to go do all that. And I'll check back on here later when we're doing something more exciting. All right, here's what we have so far. I haven't talked anyone into getting the decorations out, but the tree is lit at least. And here's our lovely sofa with my beautiful Let It Snow snowman throw. It's a little dark over here. And then the fireplace with all the awesome stockings. The fireplace with all the beautiful stockings. Everyone has one, even the fur babies. So this is my husband's. There's onyx. There's socks. Caitlin, Pikachu, Mittens, and me. And then we have some random Christmassy things behind. And our beautiful home interiors. Winter scene I like to have up. There will be more to show you another time, but so far it's looking a little like Christmas in here.
Yeah. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Starting to shape up in here a little bit. We're going to have to do some more decorating to make it all festive and plug in our things that light up. And I need to find my snow globes and put those out. And I need to get my wreath and some other things. And then it's going to really look like Christmas around here. Thank you for joining me today. It wasn't terribly exciting because we didn't really do much of anything. We kind of took it easy today. I did laundry. Wow. Got things ready for school tomorrow. Kind of got myself together. Fixed lunch. Tidied up a little bit. Relaxed. Watched a lot of YouTube. Took some little cat naps. I enjoyed my restful relaxation at home. Not having to accomplish a lot today. And that was nice. So, tomorrow begins another week of crazy Christmas stuff. So, tomorrow will be a new day of fun and adventures and exciting first grade life. So, I'll see you then. Merry Vlogmas!